hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to add and remove items from list box control dynamically and here we got the final output let's add the new items Charan add James I'm adding James to the list box control I'm deleting the Charan record from the list box remove see James I'm removing James also from this list box control if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is listbox and remote click ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty click ok and here the project is successfully created let's open solution explorer now in this project I am adding a new web form page right click the project name add new item I am selecting web form the web form page name is list box add remove dynamically add and here we got the source page now between the form and do tag I'm adding a center tag header tag how to add a remove items from list box control dynamically horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding one list box control, one text box control, and one label control, and two button controls to add and remove items. Let's add the text box control. Open toolbox, text box control, open toolbox line. I'm adding the list box. I'm adding two button controls the second button control the first button control name is add the second button control is the remote and the last control I'm adding the label control open toolbox label control Adding a break, another break after the button controls. Now in the label control, I'm deleting the text property label. Just finish it the designing part. Switch to the design mode. Double click the button control add. And here we got the button click event. Now in this button click event, I'm adding the items dynamically into a list box control from text box control. The first condition if text box one dot text double equals to string dot empty If the text box is empty when we click the button control add I want to display the message label one dot text is equals to please enter some values into into text box else the entered value in the text box I want to add into the list box control 
list box one which is the id of the list box items dot add method text box one dot text once we add the text box value into the list box control i want to clear the text box control text box one dot text as well as i want to clear the label text is equals to this empty label that's it up to now we have finished the coding part to add dynamically the values into the list box control let's check the results on the google chrome google chrome and here we got the output of that code and notice the list box control we forgot to add the property width the size of the width of the list box control let's add the width stop debugging switch to source code width 255 let's check the output I'm rerunning the browser link and here we got the new output let's add some values Charan add. See so here we got the Charan is added into this list box control. Suppose if I am not entering any values into the text box control, when I click add, and notice we got an error message. Please enter some values into the text box control. James, add. See. See here we are adding the items dynamically into the list box control. Now my next condition is I want to remove the selector items from this list box control. Switch to the code behind. Design mode. This time I am selecting the remote. Double click that one. List box one dot items dot remove at the remove at method takes the integer value which is index so i'm adding the list box index values list box one dot items dot index of list box one dot selected item that's it let's check the results google chrome And here we got the final output. Let's add the new items. Charan add James. I'm adding James to the list box control. I'm deleting the Charan record from the list box. Remove. See? James. I'm removing James also from this list box control. That's it.